Hello my friends, today we have something really exciting going on. We are going to be checking out the Wings of Liberty Tactical Arsenal mod on Nightmare Difficulty. I've already done a playthrough of this mod on my stream, and we did Brutal Difficulty, so we could just see what was going on, make sure it was a good mod, and then, you know, give Nightmare a try if it was worth it. This mod is very good, it reminds me a lot of the Mobius mod, and I am ready to get murdered on Nightmare Difficulty, so let's jump right into it. I believe it has a little text pop-up that will talk about what exactly the mod is, and then we'll be able to get going. Alright. Welcome to the Wings of Liberty Tactical Arsenal. Greetings, Commander. During this campaign, you will be able to equip most of your troops and buildings with special upgrades. They are meant as tools, allowing you to approach unit and missions in a way you wouldn't have before. Due to these extra tools, you will be capped at a reduced max supply, depending on your chosen difficulty. You will also need to complete bonus objectives to unlock the upgrades for the rest of the campaign. You can always use the archive if you missed an upgrade. This is made by Pierre, and we are doing Nightmare Difficulty as well. So, we don't... We don't have anything right now. It said that we have to complete bonus objectives, which is actually different from the way that it works in the base campaign. You usually have all the things you can buy available right at the beginning. But this is Nightmare, so life is going to be a little bit harder. Now, I haven't played Nightmare in quite a bit. However, I did design Nightmare, and I remember it being very painful. So we're going to play slow, we're going to play steady, and we're going to do our best. Enemies with combat shields already, <laughs> as it should be. 111 enemy marines at the porta potty. Oh, and they got still. So, hopefully, when we bop this open, it will showcase exactly how this works. Here we go. Yes, uh, marines unlock the lightweight ammunition upgrade. So, this is the first of three upgrades we have available. It costs 25 minerals for one marine to get it. Replaces the marine's normal ammunition with lightweight ammunition, increasing firing rate by 65%, but reducing damage dealt by 20%. We have 50 minerals and 50 gas on this mission to spend. And I think that I'm gonna... I'm not sure that I want to actually buy that upgrade, honestly. Partially because I know that I want a different upgrade. At least at the beginning here. Uh, this is why we played it through, so that we wouldn't be, you know, running into walls uh, with upgrades that aren't necessarily as good. Because Nightmare is designed around you actually having a pretty good understanding of the game, you know. Okay, here come these guys. Try to kite backwards with our friends, see if we can keep them alive. Did decently. And let's bop this open. Got 100 minerals to work with. Oh, we do actually have extra money, so maybe a couple of these guys being upgraded isn't too bad. One of the really nice things of this mod is that the marines change color based on which upgrade you get. So it's easier to know which ones have the upgrades you want. And in in a giant, like, scramble, it can still be difficult. But it's it's really nice. So the Marines coming out of the thing is a nightmare difficulty thing. It's not uh, specific to this mod. It's because the end is very tough. <laughs> and you need more forces. Jim is already looking very worse for wear. I'm not excited for him. There we go, 100 gas. Have we gotten any of the other upgrades? Oh, we got a uh, momentum accelerator. Equip the Marine with gear... Uh, made to stock momentum and reuse it when the Marine is firing, increasing the Marine's 20 damage by 25% after moving. This is A, a gas dump if you're going for bio, which is very good, and B, it is a stutter step improver. Unfortunately, we don't need that. Rat tat tat, knock these down. We're gonna have this enemy, and... I guess we'll have Jim do the polling here. It's not too much, but in no-build missions, we do have to be very careful with our polling. And trying to make sure that our green boys are not the ones taking too much damage. Yeah, the stutter step upgrade, the thing is, some of these upgrades just do not combo well with each other. For example, the increased firing speed and the one that makes it so you do more damage when stutter stepping don't work very well together because you have desynchronized marine firing rates. 
which makes that stutter stepping effectively impossible. There's more people still being held up ahead. Okay, we got the railgun upgrade. This is the one that I wanted. So this is the Mobius railgun upgrade. Replace the Marines Goss cannon with a railgun designed by one of the one of the Mobius's engineers, Nadral. <laughs> you can tell that this is very much so was inspired by Mobius mod. Uh, it deals more damage, uh, has more range, and has a slower firing rate. We're going to be getting that ability. Simply get some long-ranged marines in the back in order to provide covering fire. And then we can take some of our healthy marines and use the last of our gas on the accelerator, even if it's not going to be that important. Let's toss down a save, and let's give a go to this ending. Now, if I remember, Nightmare Difficulty is a little bit of a bigger challenge at the end, so there's the battle cruiser. Take him out. This is why I wanted those rail guns, to be able to take down that BC easier. Because <laughs> if, we, if we'd, like, stacked the damage reduction, it would have been harder because of the armor. All right, let's jump into mission number two. As always, we start a run like this with two missions. And then we do one mission per day after this. I love Nightmare Difficulty, man. And I like this mod a lot, too. Both of them, just so much fun. And I am really, really excited to see them combined together. Now, if you want to watch my original playthrough, then you can do that on the Twitch VODs. I really need to get that third VOD channel opened, but it's like I don't want to run three YouTube channels, man. Let's do the Outlaws. For some reason, I was preparing myself mentally for Zero Hour, which is just the next mission. It's not this one. I don't know why that was happening. Armed and ready. Let's move this way and get ready to go. Now, the lightweight ammunition upgrade I actually think is going to be pretty darn good here. We're going to be able to get medics as well. So let's uh, prepare that. And we should be in a pretty good spot after we get a couple medics. Uh, I need to make sure we don't die. Remember that we have no static defense on this mission and nightmare attack is early and often. So we got to be careful. Getting that tech lab ready. I'm going to try to make sure that I have really, really nice Sim City, just so that we don't get owned by an early attack wave. Because normally you'd want to just put a bunker right here and then have them like single file their way in, get blasted. Can't do that today. What is this? Oh, rescue the captured rebels in the APC. Oh, we only have five minutes to do. Interesting. Okay. Um, things are happening, and we're going to have to be ready for them. Here comes the enemy. Let's see if we can pull them over here. Just be very careful, and then we'll check those medic upgrades in a bit. First, we got to get some guys on gas. Make sure that we're getting all of our depots. We gotta go do a lot of stuff at the same time because I don't want to fall behind. We have four minutes and 20 seconds here. Oh, we gotta do the bonus upgrades to get the medic things. I'm so sorry. That's gonna take me a little bit just to get used to because the way that it works on Brutal, I believe I said this, is that you start every mission with the upgrades. But instead, we have to do these bonus objectives. So we have to destroy the Dominion Biodome. And we have to rescue the APC. I actually feel like rescuing the people inside of the APC is going to be easier than the... Bi or rather, it's the time-sensitive one. Man, this is a new bonus objective. I'm excited. It's going to be easier, right? And it's more time-sensitive, so we probably need to go over here, rescue the rebels, then set up a defense after we take out the APC... And then we have to pull backwards and destroy this Dominion Biodome. Then we'll have all the medic upgrades available. I don't know which order we get all the medic upgrades, but I can tell one. I can tell you that one of them is absolutely garbage, and I don't want it here. <laughs> like I really, really don't want it. So, whichever one, whichever one that is, it's completely useless. Uh. It's not useless overall. It's useless on this mission specifically, I should clarify. It's, uh, <laughs> you know. Now, the there's going to be a lot of enemies, aren't there? How are we going to get there so quickly? It almost feels like what we're supposed to do is lift a uh, barracks, float it on over here, 
and rescue the rebels, you know? That's actually a pretty interesting strategy now that I think about it. I've never done that before. But it seemed... Is that good? Huh. Someone needs to remind me next time I'm, like, playing this mission hardcore, trying to be a Gosu, that I should... I should give that a whirl. Because that's really a fascinating idea. Okay, so now what we're going to do is grab a lot of these rail guns and some of the lightweight ammunition. And we are going to go. So one of the things that I learned is that these upgrades are expensive. They are like really, really good at taking away all your money. You have to be ready for the fight before you go and you buy a bunch of them. Otherwise, you're going to end up bankrupt. Interesting that the AI is not expanding as much as it normally does. So on this mission in Nightmare, normally there's like a bunch of buildings going up here already. And I notice that's not happening here. My frontline marines are kind of getting destroyed. Okay, we got a bunch of friends. Let's uh, get more rail guns, get more of these, and we don't have a whole lot of time to rescue. There we go. That's number two. We got the repair beam upgrade. That's the one that's useless. Cool. Thanks, civilian. Ooh, we got it. It's crazy how many more units even Mission 2 has. So we can take a look at the things. I might as well go get the biodome at this point, and then we can take a look at all the upgrades we have available. I don't know what the biodome entails. It looks like a moderate base. I like that there's missile turrets at that base. <laughs> what do they expect me to do? Drop a battle cruiser? No, that's for a run that's coming up soon with a mod that I commissioned. We're not, we're not there yet. That mod's gonna be a lot of fun too. Like really, really fun. All right, we're gonna head over here. It looks like this is just an extension of what was previously this outpost. So we can take down these guys, just get you guys being reasonable with your movements. It'd be kind of cool if there was a mineral line over here. That would be the real nightmare difficulty is you like half the number of mineral fields here and then you make the rest of it over here so you have to float. I'm surprised that isn't how it ended up. Let's get a couple more of these. And then we're going to position all of our forces over here. There we go. Ah, uh, this is what I remember. Lots of buildings being built everywhere. Every single one of them able to produce. <laughs> Welcome to Nightmare. If the AI goes out of control, it's completely your fault. Let's get uh, some of this lightweight ammunition. Once we're stable, I promise I will read these upgrades. It's just... <laughs> We really need things to just chill out for a moment. So remember, the enemies have stim and they have combat shields. It actually kind of makes up for... It makes up the difference between our forces. We're just upgraded marines in different ways at this point. Finish these off. Take these down. This is actually really cool. I just noticed here that it tells you how long you had on the bonus objective. Which is a nice little addition, you know? I like that quite a bit. All right, let's read these upgrades. Caduceus Armor. Replaces the Medic's Armor with Caduceus Armor, granting 15 shields and one armor. Regenerate 0.5 HP per second to biological units nearby. This regeneration bonus can be stacked five times with other Medics with Caduceus Armor. Repair Beam. Replace the Medic's Healing Beam with a Repair Beam, allowing it to heal mechanical units at the cost of healing biological units. That is the useless one because we have no mechanical units. <laughs> and then, flashbang grenade. Give the medic flashbang to reduce the range and attack speed of any enemy biological units that get hit by it. So that is, uh, we're gonna definitely have to get a couple of those. Ooh, well, we don't have any gas remaining actually. Let's uh, cancel all these. You guys are gonna be getting lightweight ammunition for the rest of your life because that costs minerals. And then we, 
I'm getting five plus one flashbang. And we're going to have these hotkeyed over here. The lack of gas is actually really scary to me. I... We're going to give it a go. We're going to try our best, but... Now that I don't have gas, I feel scared. Because I can't get a lot of these upgrades. I can never get another medic. That's going to be rough. I can't get the stutter step upgrade that I don't want. Stutter step upgrade, it definitely has value. You just have to get an entire setup built around it. Alright, this seems like a good time to go. Oh my gosh, that's so many. But we got the railgun. We had two DPS upgrades, or rather one burst upgrade and then one sustained DPS upgrade. So we were able to tear through it despite the healing. Nice job up that but we would have had to target the SCVs if it had been any less DPS there. Let's target down the Hellion and the Hellion. And I do remember from Nightmare Difficulty that there is a tank really well positioned back there that we have to be careful about. It is a monster tank. So what we're going to do is actually just kind of scooch our way over here. Take down these barracks first. Also, I heard mineral field depleted. So if we lose here, we lose the game, which is why I'm being really careful about the tank. And then we collapse on top of it. Perfect. Not a problem. Nightmare difficulty. Not as bad when we have these little buffs. But still, I think that it's going to cause me a lot of pain in the future. Because, <laughs> oh man, it is never easy. It's just so much stuff as time goes on. All right, my friends, that is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Tactical Arsenal Nightmare Difficulty Mod by Pierre. If you're interested in this, please tell me in the comments. If you are not interested in it and for, if, I don't know, if people just aren't really feeling it, we'll do something else. But I am personally excited to give this a go, and I hope that you guys are excited to see it. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace!